I mean, we're a brand that really um, is all about the athlete. I mean, you look back at Adi Dossler and, and the work he did with Jesse Owens and, and people that were in the Olympics. It's something that I think every day when you come into work, you think about what the brand has done in the past. Adidas has a long history of being the brand that brings innovation to the consumer and the athlete. We kind of heard whispers that uh, Adidas had some great new cushioning technology about two and a half years ago. It was something that took the running world by storm. And it was because it looked different, it felt different on the foot. And when I got my foot into it and saw the performance of it, I knew it was for real. So when I'm designing something, I, I think about how do I maximize the potential of the design, whether it's the material, whether it's the look, the style. And I knew this material had an unparalleled feel fit and comfort. What we found is underfoot, it actually gave you a lot more cushioning than standard EVA and TPU outsoles. We always want to bring the golfer the best technologies, and we're really excited for the opportunity to work with Boost to bring that to golfers of every level. TPU is that solid plastic material. We take little beads and we basically cook them, think popcorn. Each of them expand and get a little bit softer. Steam molding basically takes all those blown up little pellets and we press them together. The way that golf shoes are built often limit the properties of any cushioning material that's not internal. We took special strides with all new manufacturing processes. A lot of brands out there that put fancy names on EVA foam that doesn't perform any better than anything else. It's more durable, it's not affected by heat or cold, and its compression set is, is lower, but it doesn't break down in the same way that EVA does. One of the things we did early on was take prototype shoes out on tour, and I'll never forget the time that I saw Sergio Garcia and put the first Boost golf shoe on his foot and getting the response we got from him in terms of I'd like to take this and play with it this week really proved to me that it could perform at the highest level. I mean, it's definitely the shoe I've always wanted to make. It's one that feels like a running shoe. It's one that feels soft. It feels like I could wear it all day, but at the same time, it performs high level on the golf course.